2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Royal Championship. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hi, Luke and Rich. Looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. So that's the final word from Beamer. Let's see how this one goes. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. Second shot here on the first. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, he's got just over 16 feet here. Oh, so close. He's currently tied for four. And now stepping onto this par three hole. Going with the seven. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. This would be a great up and down from this spot. And he needs this to save par. Looking really good. Oh, that's frustrating. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. They've decided to club up. Yeah. Outstanding approach shot. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And that'll move him to even par for the tournament. 
Got to like it. Moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Oh, that was pure. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. Going with a three wood here. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the four. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Looking for another birdie here. Okay, steady now. And that should secure the par on this one. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And back to the play, shall we? Getting ready to play their third. He's two shots back. Opportunity to make their par. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Now with the honour on a par five. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. 
What a year with five victories already this season. That's not the one he wanted. And here we are with the third shot. Two strokes off the lead. That's on the green, and you never know what could happen. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. He's staring down a birdie putt here. This has a real chance. Well, what a lovely putt to make. I will take that also into the top five now. And it's worth taking another look at that one. What an amazing putt from way out. Currently one under for the event. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Okay, so that's step one, but now going to hold a mid-range putt. 12 feet to the cup coming up. This one to save par. Looking really good, this one. 
And the putt goes down. A nice display of resilience in the end. In trouble off the tee in that fairway bunker with that putt saves the par. Well done. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Next up is this par four hole. looking shot this sitting at minus one currently tied for fifth place and this part to move into a tie for first Oh yeah, this is tracking nicely. A par putter waits. This one started out on a good line. And in it goes for the par. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. And we've arrived at a par three. Sitting at one under, tied for fifth. There's part of about six feet coming up. Right over the spot they were looking at. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, oh my, how about that for a par? And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Puff of wind blowing right to left for him.
Opting for the hybrid, I think. Lovely effort, that. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. It was on a good line. Just tapped in for a bogey. This hole is a long par four. disappointing that one well rich in the thick stuff here not a good spot to be getting ready to play their third straight down win tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green Not sure if that's how they drew it up. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. And this player seems to not be too intimidated having Justin Thomas in their group today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. A chance for the top 10 here if you can make this. Ooh, nice line. Ah, what a disappointment. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Golf is a game of confidence, and I like it. Taking the big dog off the tee. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Second shot here on the 13th. Not really what they were hoping for there. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. This is like a bad lie with a bit of grilled bad lie on top, sprinkled with dashings of bad lie. Now just one over par. In a good position here, just outside the top 10.
This is their fifth shot. Just three strokes back. Let's try and make this one. And only drop the one shot. There it is. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings. That's for sure. Time to see what this par four has in store. Where will this one end up? What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This breeze just starting to blow, but it's a helpful breeze. It's one that you like. Got to club down a little bit. Looks to be going with the five iron. Not the result they were after there. A bit too much club there. This putt for par here. That gets the job done. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. It's time to check on the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Looking to move up the leaderboard on this interesting hole.
Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead. Ooh, that almost went down. And as the putt drops, two over, heading down the stretch. And this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. A bit short with that effort. Great touch, really nicely played. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And as we check in on the leaderboard, it's John Rahm on top. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. kind of shot are they facing here Henny yeah this is straight back into the breeze gonna be a tough one opting for the five wood ah, right into the water on that one playing their fourth shot five strokes behind our leader That's nicely done. What's in front of them, Henny? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. Try and keep that scorecard a little less dirty. This is for bogey. Now seven shots behind after that. Now take the stroll to the final tee of this round. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Nicely done. 73 is nothing to be shy about. But let's make this putt. What a putt. Started this perfectly. And that's how he signs off from this event. Well, you can knock me down with a feather, Henny. I didn't see this coming. They stared down the great Justin Thomas and beat them. No win in the tournament, but does that really matter? I don't think it does. When you take down a giant like JT, you have all of the bragging rights in the world. And let me tell you, Luke, 
Justin is not going to be happy about that. This man, he likes to win. He's going to go away, practice hard. I wouldn't want to take him on again. I wouldn't want to be the next person taking him on. But congratulations to this player. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam and all...